E se você está atrás de mais novidades sobre a aquisição da Activision Business pela Microsoft, pode ter certeza que vai ter sempre um assuntinho rolando no ar. E hoje tem novidade, Brad Smith, presidente da Microsoft, falou, falou bonito. Vem comigo que eu te conto. Salve senhores, salve senhoras, Léo Zena na área, e para quem tá acompanhando a novelíssima da Activision Blizzard, pode ficar tranquilo porque a gente tá sempre cobrindo as novidades. E para quem já tava acompanhando as novidades que começaram na semana passada, hoje a gente vai trazer mais um capítulo bem interessante na vida desta premiada novela. Brad Smith, o presidente da Microsoft, se reuniu com a CNBC e deu uma entrevista bem bacana. Ele não falou muita coisa, mas deu pontos interessantes com relação ao que tá acontecendo. Ele foi perguntado, foi comentado também sobre a questão da pressão, inclusive nas costas dele como presidente, e todo o trabalho que eles têm feito para suprir essa necessidade do regulador do Reino Unido para que tudo aconteça com maior tranquilidade. Além disso, ele deu outras diquinhas ali do que ele pode acontecer e se desconfiante sim na aprovação antes do final da data válida, no caso agora dia 18 de outubro, então ele acha que isso vai acontecer no começo até em setembro. E aí, será? E é claro que pra gente entender tudo isso, eu peguei o vídeo e legendei em português do Brasil pra ficar fácil pra todo mundo acompanhar o raciocínio do Brad Smith. Então, acompanha aí o que ele falou. Well, I think hope is on the horizon. Uh, we have worked very hard, most recently, to address the concerns of the UK, the Competition and Markets Authority. That's what led us to make a big decision a week ago, you know, to spin out the cloud game streaming rights to Ubisoft, an important French games publisher. Uh, we've prevailed in court in the United States. We've ensured that we continue to comply, even while we spin out these rights to Ubisoft, with our commitments in the European Union. Um, as the CMA in the UK has said, there's no green light, but they will review our proposal. Uh, and I'm hopeful that by the middle of October, we may just see this come together. You mentioned the middle of October. Actually, the, the deadline is October the 18th. It's been pushed back from July 18th, right? And the problem is here that the clock is ticking, as you well know, right? I think uh, in a couple of days from now, uh, next Tuesday, the 29th, the breakup fee goes from three to three and a half billion dollars. And by the time we get to September uh, sometime, uh, it goes up to four and a half billion dollars. That's a lot of pressure on Microsoft. It is a pressure that, that I, among others, feel every day. I'm very conscious of the calendar. Uh, and that's why we've worked so hard to address the concerns that regulators have raised. It's why we work so hard to address the concerns that some of our competitors have raised. But I think there is a path. It'll be up to the regulators, especially now in the UK, to decide whether that path is clear. But I think what's most important is that we have done what in my view we need to do to address these concerns, to ensure that this acquisition is going to promote gaming, more opportunities for gamers, more competition in the market. And with the various steps we've taken, I genuinely believe that we've taken to heart the need to address what was giving people pause. You've done what you needed to do, right? Probably as much as you can do ahead of the deadline. What are your lawyers and also lobbyists telling you, though, in terms of uh, how regulators in the U.S. as well as the CMA, the, the U.K. regulators are uh, looking at uh, these moves you've made with Ubisoft and with, let's say, NVIDIA? Well, I think we need to let the regulators speak for themselves. They have decisions that need to be made, especially in the United Kingdom. Um, but from my vantage point, What we've really tried to do is take these concerns to heart. We haven't tried to dismiss them. We haven't tried to downplay them. We haven't tried to ignore them. We've worked to address them. And by addressing them, we have put together a transaction that will advance competition while also eliminating the concerns on the anti-competitive side that some people had. Okay, let, let's uh, think positive here and assume that all goes well and the deal finally does go through. If and when it does, it would make uh, Microsoft, I think, number three globally in, in gaming, right? Just behind uh, Sony. Where does Microsoft want to end up? What is What would be the next step? I think our, our goal is to have a healthy gaming business, to provide games that will excite gamers on consoles, on PCs, 
on mobile, in the phone space. You know, we don't have games today that are popular in, say, a space like mobile. This gives us the opportunity to expand the portfolio, make it available to more people on more devices in every country of the world. That's our goal. That's how you build a healthy business. E aí, estão confiantes? Continua com a energia positiva? Pois fiquem, porque tudo vai dar certo. No mais, se tiver dúvidas ou perguntas, manda nos comentários do vídeo que a gente vai trocando aquela ideia. Eu sou o Leozeira, vou ficando por aqui, logo mais tem mais vídeos. Beijo no coração de vocês. Fui.